Hey guys, Sam Bolton here with another review. Today, we will be taking a look at the newest live-action Disney remake of an animated film. This time, it is Beauty and the Beast, directed by Bill Condon and starring Emma Watson, Serena McKellen, Ewan McGregor, Luke Evans, Dan Stevens, Audrey McDonald, full star-studded cast. This is the story of how a prince, who absolutely had no love in his heart, turned away an old woman for a rose after being left out in the cold. She finds out that he is just a big arse and she, knows she doesn't like him, and so she decides to put a curse on him and turns him into a beast until his 21st year. If he can find to learn to love another person and earn their love in return before the last petal on a rose falls, then the spell will be broken. If not, he's screwed to remain a beast for all eternity. And so, who could ever really learn to love a beast? Well, Belle can, played by Emma Watson. She is a young adventurous girl who is a huge bookworm who is pretty much outcasted from the town and nobody really seems to pay any attention to her. That is except for Gaston, played by Luke Evans, who is an amazing choice. He thinks because he's the best looking man in town and Belle's the best looking woman in town, naturally they should get together. Yeah, great logic. Mate. After she turns him away, he is determined to get her in, in any way possible. And also, this becomes a bit of a problem as her father, played by Kevin Klein, is off to an exhibition when he accidentally comes across the Beast's castle. And then he is thrown in the dungeon and told that he's a thief. Belle soon enough finds him and decides to exchange her life for his so he can have his freedom, but she remains a prisoner. Later on, she actually finds out that this castle is actually an enchanted castle full of moving objects like clocks, candlesticks for the dusters, teapots, cups, anything. So as time evolves, she finds out that what she was actually looking for in most of her life is actually there. So the question is, will she ever have find out her true love and will the beast ever regain his curse and will Gaston ever stop being a good looking asshole? So that's the basic plot of the film and compared to the 1991 animated film, it is very faithful. There's a few things that have changed, there's stuff that has to be updated for modern day, but overall this is a very, very well done remake. I want to go back and to actually talk about some of these live action remakes that Disney has done. It all started with Alice in Wonderland in 2010, which was okay as films go, it wasn't, it wasn't that terrible. And ever since then, films have ranged from good, like last year's Jungle Book, okay, like the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland movies, Peach Dragon and Cinderella, and downright absolutely disgusting, like Maleficent, which came out in 2012, which is an absolute piece of shit and I would never ever talk about it. So on a whole, how is this film? Well, compared to the 1991 version, it is very faithful. It does an amazing job at telling the same story again that we all knew and loved from the first time and it actually looks stunning. The film itself actually is a really, really good looking film. The cinematography and the way that the camera moves, a lot of the CG on the characters like such as The Beast and Cogsworth and Lumiere and Mrs. Potts, they all look really, really interesting and there's a lot of good detail inside this film. The village as well looks really, really interesting and very habitable. I think one of the best aspects of this film is the cast itself. I think every single person in this film does an amazing job. And surprisingly, Emma Watson actually doesn't have a bad singing voice at all. She actually does do a really, really good job. Dan Stevens is real great as the Beast and as the Prince afterwards. Luke Evans, as again, well, like I said at the beginning, steals the show as Gaston. He is just a perfect choice of casting. This is one of those guys where he is just a try. He doesn't give up, but he's so, uh, he just does it in all the wrong ways. He says all the wrong words, but he's just determined in order to get Emma Watson. Just, it's just one of those characters that you just love to hate. And also, I was honestly surprised to find out that Ewan McGregor was in this film. He actually plays Lumiere because when I first watched the trailer, I had no idea that it was him because he puts on that French accent and he sounds nothing like Ewan McGregor because he does have a very distinctive voice. But surprisingly, it really pays off. He did an amazing job. The film itself is sort of like you're watching a Broadway show and it actually does do a great job. All the song sequences, Be Our Guest is an amazing number, small Town, Beauty and the Beast, There's No More, The Mob Song, Gaston Song, all those songs are just really well done and I think this is actually one of the best musicals ever. Nevertheless though, there are a few problems with this film. One of them that I found was a little bit off a death, especially in the first half, is the editing. Sometimes it sort of goes by so fast and you're not really sure what's happened. Like there's a scene in the woods where Maurice, who, who's played by Kevin Klein, who's Belle's father, is running away from these wolves that are near the Beast castle and he, he falls off his horse but you never really know what exactly has happened. You never see him hit any trees or whatever and all that sort of stuff. At least in the old film, you actually saw him fall off. You never really see it in this film. And I guess the editing sometimes is a little bit sloppy. But I think the biggest gripe for me though is its pace. It's very, very fast. It's like somebody pressed the fast forward button on the remote control by accident and the film is just sped up. Everybody's voice
voice sounds exactly the same and they're not like Algon and the Chipmunks. But it does have a sort of fast paced feel, like everything is done, snappity snappity snap snap snap. I was just thinking to myself while I was watching the film, can you just slow down that little bit, please? Because everything is looking so gorgeous and everything looks really good, the actors are all doing a good job, but the pacing is just so fast. And I mean, seriously, slow down a bit, please. On a whole, that is just a small monocle at how beautiful this film is. This is a very, very good looking film. Emma Watson, like I said before, does an amazing job as Belle. She is very feisty, she's an adventurer, she's a huge bookworm, and surprisingly, she doesn't really care what a lot of the, the villagers actually think of her, and I think that's actually what makes her an interesting character. She just does her own thing, and that just seems to have to satisfy her. And I think Emma Watson does do an amazing job. Everybody does do an amazing job. That's just the best highlight for me in this film, every single person. Overall, I think Beauty and the Beast is a very, very well done remake. It's definitely a great film to check out. If you are a fan of the original 1991 version that was released by Disney, this is a definite must-see. If you are a fan of the live-action Disney remakes from animation, this is also definitely worth checking out. And I do hope that Disney does continue to do these films, because they are good. Some of them are terrible, and I'm really not looking forward to that sequel to Maleficent. Oh, I hate that film. So, on a whole, I think Beauty and the Beast definitely deserves a very, very high full price. This is a film that is a genuine must-see. I would say when it's compared to the 1991 version, I think it's about a tie, because it's, does, it's very similar to the live-action Cinderella movie. A lot of things are changed, and but everything's very similar at the same time, and I think that's really, really clever. There isn't really as much change in this film like there was in Cinderella, but on a whole, this is definitely worth checking out and well worth seeing. I had a great time watching it, and I left with a smile on my face. I really cannot stop singing those songs all the way through so definitely worth checking out and so that brings me to the end of this review thank you ever so much for watching ladies and gentlemen please remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to follow me on social media i'm on facebook twitter instagram i'm all on those websites take care ladies and gentlemen i'll see you next time